Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another anime fighting simulator video. Today, I will be showing you guys how to do the chapter 1 in the anime fighting simulator storyline. But before getting into the video, 95.4% of you guys that watch my videos are not yet subscribed. What are you guys doing? It's free and you guys can unsubscribe whenever you guys want to. But if you guys decide to subscribe, it's going to help me out a lot since we're trying to get to 5,000 subscribers before summer and we're really close to 4.1k. So please, please, please subscribe and it's going to help me out a lot. But yeah, enjoy the video. All right. So first of all, we're, let's just get right into things. So first of all, you guys have to go up to Shinro in this flying island. And this is in chapter one. Go up to him or go, go up in the dojo right here. Talk with Shindro, and the quest you're gonna get is uh, train 500 increments of strength, durability, and chakra. So how you guys do that is just by like doing the strength. If you guys don't know what an increment is, is every time this pops up on my screen, that's an increment. And what you can al also do, and this is to, to do it faster, get a champion that also trains strength, like Meliodas. It, it doesn't have to be even be that good. It has to do like even like it can do one percent of strength as long as it does strength. And then you see he's also going to get increments for me at the same time while I get increments, which is a way to boost the efficiency in that quest. And then after that, when you guys are done with the quest, then you guys can go back and talk with Shinro. And then you guys have to talk with Barris. So basically, you're just going to have to talk with him because you're done with the quest. And then you have to go talk with Barris. Barris is going to give you a quest, which is collect seven dragon, uh, dragon orbs around the map. This one's pretty easy. It took me like five minutes or ten minutes to do. So basically, what you guys do is... Is just go around the map looking for uh, looking for dragon orbs if you guys don't know how they look they look they're in like a um they're a sphere sort of they're very like round and stuff and they have some uh, stars inside of them right here this is how it looks this is a um dragon ball right here uh it looks like this so you guys pick it up and then collect it a dragon orb and then you guys have to do that seven times and they're pretty easy to find there's uh, most of them spawn on this little island chunk right here uh, one of them spawns usually around there in that hill area and then behind here or around this rocky mountain thing on my jiggy and on top of here they spawn and right here it's a normal spawn and yeah under, under here it's also a really normal spawn and on top of this so they spawn quite a lot around this area and they spawn there's only one spawn over here and that's around this area in the d darker area of that island and then they're i'm pretty sure there no none of them spawn on the ice island uh and they spawn there's one like a two of them here like well, yeah one right here and then i'm pretty sure this one's one like over here okay so when you guys are done collecting the seven dragon uh, orbs around the map then you guys have to talk with barris again and then he's going to give you a quest which is defeat to beast monkey so two beast monkey is in this uh, in the dimension five it's pretty easy you guys have to go over to levy because he's going to give you the quest talk with levy and he's going to say like oh can you defeat two beast monkey for me and then you guys just have to do that he's right here and it's pretty easy to beat i've made multiple videos and like on uh, or how to get the titan transformation and if you guys watch that it's i'm gonna show you i'm showing you guys basically like how to do it really quickly compared to uh normally and yeah when you guys are done with that you guys talk with levy again and then you guys just go right over to this person right here called mikusa and i don't know if it's a she or a he but i'm guessing it's a she because i don't know i'm just guessing uh mikusa is gonna give you a quest which is defeat the dark demon one time so if you guys don't know what the dark demon is it's a uh, it's a it's a boss that spawns every one hour of the day so for me it's 8 p.m right now and in about or it, it's actually 8 34 p.m so in about third no in about 26 minutes so when it hits 9 p.m the boss is gonna spawn it's spawn, and then uh, after that it's gonna spawn again in, on 10 p.m and then at 11 p.m and then 12 a.m and then 1 a.m and 2 a.m it spawns every hour of the day and you guys have i'm pretty sure you guys have an hour to beat it but it's not that hard hard uh, like i've it normally takes me like five to ten minutes to beat it with my friends and yeah it's, it's a pretty easy boss because you can just stay on the sides here and not get killed at all so you guys won't worry about that as long as you guys have some projectile powers which will hit them from uh, far away okay so when you guys are done doing the dark demon quest then you guys have to go talk with mikusa again and after that you guys have to head back to dimension one and go talk with miss Mahis right here around the table this person or in the anime it's a he i'm pretty sure and uh, he is gonna give or he's gonna give you a quest which is train 3000 increments of strength durability and chakra so basically six times harder than the first quest from shinro 
you guys just have to do the same just for a longer amount of time i mean it's not really a hard quest you just have to sit there and offline train basically but it's it's gonna take you guys like 30 minutes to an hour that's what it did to me like maybe a bit more than an hour to do this quest and then after that you guys have to go to talk with uh or you guys have to talk with m his again just to you know say that you have done the quest or you have completed the quest and then you guys have to talk with shinro shinro is going to give you a quest which is defeat two demon foxes and if you guys don't know what a demon fox is it's basically the boss in the uh, dimension one right down here this is the boss right here you guys have to uh, kill the boss twice and i'm thinking about making a video where you guys beat or like how to make or how to beat the uh, boss really quickly or how to just beat bosses really quickly and i'm gonna try to find a different way than just to what i've been usually saying in my other videos obviously i need to make other ways instead of just the same way all the time but but yeah this is the demon fox you guys just have to kill the, the demon fox twice and then you guys can go back up to shinro and talk with shinro and then you can go to the next quest all right so when you guys have talked with shinro you guys have to go into the dimension two and then talk with piloko uh so piloko he is gonna give you a quest which is defeat broly twice and broly is the dimension two boss which is pretty hard actually like this is like one of the hardest bosses in the game i'm pretty sure it's the third hardest boss and uh the hardest is definitely the beast monkey then it's the masked villain and then uh broly and then after that we have the dragon i'm pretty sure and then we have the demon fox uh but yeah you guys just have to defeat the broly twice and then you're basically done with this quest as well it's a pretty easy quest and uh, it's it, it's definitely not that hard to do so after that you guys have to talk with piloko again and then complete your quest and after that you guys are gonna go to sanyo which is in dimension three and he's gonna give you the next quest which is defeat two beast kings so listen up beast king it's a pretty easy boss even if you have a couple million as long as you guys have a projectile thing and you guys stay away from him then i'm pretty sure you guys are easily going to be able to take at least tier one maybe tier two i'm not sure I i'm not that noob yet i mean i, I really can't be an uber but if i make a second account i don't know uh, <laughs> but uh yeah the beast king is pretty easy to take on so you guys should be able to do him in like 10 minutes or so okay so after that you guys have to talk with um sanyo and then you guys have to uh go to dimension four which is obviously the next quest because you know we've been doing this for a while now going to dimension one two three and now we're going to dimension four so first of all you guys just have to go out of this little house i'm not sure it's, it's jojo but go and then you guys go to the right over here towards this area right here where you guys can see the portal and you guys have to jump up here and big might should be standing here so big might is the person that's going to give you the quest uh or the next quest which or next quest which is the um, uh defeat two masked villains but all right when you guys are done with that you guys have to just go go over to big might and talk again and then let's head back to dimension one okay so when you guys are back up in the dojo you guys have to talk with the revoker this time Revoker is going to give you your second last quest, which is a, um, a pretty a pretty easy quest, and it's find and talk to Finrel. So I've already made a video about this, so you guys should definitely go watch that video right now, and then you guys know how to um, how to do that part. Uh, but yeah, after you guys have done that part, you guys can just go back up to Sh uh, Shinro or Revoker, talk with the Revoker, and then get a get the last quest from shinro so this last quest is the hardest quest of them all and that's defeat one infernal boss and when you guys talk with shinro for the first time there's gonna come like a little cutscene where the rift up in the sky opens and you're gonna basically get this portal opened uh, and when you guys have this portal open open you guys can just basically go in here and you can be with 15 people this is why i want to do this on stream once uh where i just you know defeat people or actually defeat the bosses um or defeat the infernal boss which gives you a lot of shards and i've also made a video about that which is this is the fastest way of getting shards in anime fighting simulator but yeah that, that's basically the whole storyline um and i'll try to explain it as easy as i could obviously um i, I can't really explain it that good right now i'm, I'm kind of tired i have been i haven't been you know i haven't been sleeping so well recently and i've been making a lot of videos because i'm just a lot most of my videos are pre-recorded so yeah, I, I mostly just pre-record my videos very late and just try to get them out in like like a certain amount of time. I, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. And if you guys did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys with another video another day. Goodbye, everyone.